the battle of speed painting has begun. It's speed paints versus contrast. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a good day. So the living statues from Massive Darkness 2 are primed in white. Army painter white, that is. Because we're going to be doing some contrast paints versus speed paints. So because this is a living statue, it is one color. So this is going to be a really quick little speeding speed paint contrast paint tutorial so on the top part we have a citadel's basilicanum gray and on the bottom we have army painters new speed paint gravelord gray so i want to show you what they look like compared to the exact same time pretty much brushing the same areas at the same time how they go on how they cover and as you can see so far i'm it almost looks like the exact same paint it doesn't even look like there's a different paint being put on these miniatures. Uh, the one at the bottom, though, I do have to say, is a little bit darker. Just a touch darker. But when it dries, it's not as... Uh, I don't know. I think it's not as dark. Actually, I think it lightens up a bit. But as you can see, the contrast one on top uh, it seems to get to pool up a little bit more than the speed paint one. Uh, but you want to load your brush with this stuff. I mean, you don't want to just, like, be really nothing on it you just want to load this brush up and get everything on there and for both paints i'm using the exact same brush which is the monster brush that came with uh you know what actually i don't think i am using the same brush actually to be honest i think i'm using the monster brush for one and then this other brush i had for the other but i mean it doesn't make a difference as long as you get the paint on the miniature uh it'll do what it needs to do right and the point of these paints like contrast or speed paints is that you want to hurry up and get your miniatures to the table now, I recently painted um, Osiris, if I'm not mistaken, from Ankh Gods of Egypt, all in contrast paints. Man, someone said it was like putting spray paint on a Ferrari, uh, not using the right paints for that miniature. I tend to disagree. Sometimes even the larger miniatures, if you're putting on some nice contrast paints and you do it well, you can get a really beautiful job out of it. Uh, so the point of this is that it makes it quick to paint and ready for the table. So... What guys, what do you guys think? Do you think the Gravelord Grey looks better on this miniature? Here it is here now. Next to it's Speed Paint. Or is it the Contrast Paint Basilicanum Grey? There we go. Next to it's Paint. As you can see, I think the Speed Paint actually did dry a little lighter. And also I noticed that the brush strokes are a little less prominent on the Speed Paint. However, the crevices are more filled in with the contrast paint. Now just finishing off these miniatures, I'm gonna be using off some fluorescent blue. This is a War Colors paint. Uh, that's the company, it's called War Colors. Uh, I haven't used those before. I started using them for the fluorescent colors lately. And I want to do all the cracks on this. Now you see me do this on the gargoyle from Hero Quest, And uh, I use like a green one instead. So all the little cracks, his eyes, the mouth, although the eyes and mouth didn't show up too, too well. And then I use Athermatic Blue, which is another contrast paint uh, from Citadel, but to go over the exact same thing, but to do three of them. So I did three with one kind, three with the other, because there's six of them. And when you're batch painting, again, these speed paints were amazing. The only thing I don't like is the speed paints are in a dropper bottle. And sometimes you waste. So I might do what I saw someone else do, is actually open up the dropper part and just dip my paintbrush in it, but I'll have to be careful not to spill that over. Anyways, there you go. The living statues, folks, are all painted and ready for the table. I want to thank you guys for watching. Catch y'all in the next one.